Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a automatic water pump controller with two different circuits. One with 555 timer IC and another with ATtiny85 or any Arduino board. First one is a analog circuit whereas the second one is a digital circuit. But first, press the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. For the digital circuit, you need a Digispark ATtiny85 board or any Arduino board. You would also require a 5 volt relay module, 2 float switch and 2 10K resistors. 10K pull-up registers are connected. Connect the P2 pin of the ATtiny module to input of the relay module. P0 and P5 pin are connected to the two float switches. 5 volt power is given to the relay board from the 5 volt pin of the ATtiny85 board and the ground wires are connected together. For the 555 timer IC circuit, you would obviously need a 555 IC. It is powered with 12 volt. The two float switches are connected to pin 2 or the trigger pin and another to the pin 6 or the threshold pin. A 104 PF capacitor is connected to pin 5. Both the float switches are pulled down with 1 mega ohm resistors. The output pin is connected to a BC547 transistor driving the 12 volt relay. A reverse biased diode is connected in parallel with the relay. But this circuit is not that reliable. So, we will focus on the ATtiny version. Header pins are soldered to the ATtiny board and the relay board, and both the boards are soldered onto a PARP board, along with two 2 pin headers for the float switches. I will quickly go through the code. The code is very simple at first. The pins of the ATtiny85 are assigned. Pin 0 is assigned to the bottom float switch or sensor. Pin 2 is assigned to the relay and pin 5 to the top float switch. Only one state variable is required for storing the on off state of the relay or the pump. Inside the setup, the two float sensors are declared as input and the relay as output. Inside the loop, at first, the state of the two float sensors are checked and if both of them are up above, then the pump is switched off. The real magic happens here as it checks not only the state of the two float sensors but also the state of the relay previously stored in the state variable. And lastly, if both of the float switches are above water level, the pump is switched on. Here we test out the circuit and the code it is running. 
The setup is pretty simple. Water is stored in the below tank and when the circuit detects water is below the float sensors, it turns on the pump and water starts to fill up the main tank and as soon as water reaches the topmost float sensor the pump stops Here I am draining the main tank with another pipe and as soon as the water reaches below the bottom float sensor, the relay activates and the pump starts to fill up the tank. If you like this video please press the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.